हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एफवीएससी एंड एएच स्कॉस जम्मू आरएसपुरा वेलकम टू माय YouTube चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल सो कांडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर द फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लेफ्ट फेमोरल फ्रैक्चर इन अ नॉन डिस्कप डॉग एंड इट्स मैनेजमेंट बाय द एंड थ्रेडेड इंट्रामेडुलरी पेन so this is the pre operative radiographs of uh, non descript dog so this dog had a history of uh, road traffic accident and when we took the radiographs so we uh, found that uh, so there was a proximal metaphyseal fracture of the left femur bone as you could see in uh, medio lateral view so this is the medio lateral view of the left femur and this one is the cranio caudal view of the left femur so if you see carefully so this medio lateral view of the left femur so you could see here so this is the fracture fragment so this is uh, almost uh, inverted l shaped fracture here so this fracture is located at the proximal extremity so we could say this is the proximal one third fracture of the left femur or in other words this fracture is located in the metaphyseal region so we can also say this is the metaphyseal fracture and this fracture is just below the this greater trochanter so this is the greater trochanter this is the neck of the femur bone and this one is the head so this fracture is located below the trochanter so such fracture we could also classify under the subtrochanteric fracture so if you see carefully so here is a radio lucent line in this uh, proximal fracture fragment so this is the detail of the, this uh, pre operative radiograph uh, of the non descript dog and the distal fracture fragment is very long as you could see here and uh, if you see the this is the patella so this is the uh, condyles of the femur bone and these two are the small uh, this sesamoid bone we normally call is the favela so this is the proximal extremity of the tibia and if you see carefully so the epiphyseal plate is, is still not fused or it is intact so by this way you could also confirm or say that okay this is the definitely a radiograph of the young animal now uh, if you see this is the cranio caudal view so cranio caudal view for cranio caudal view if you see the fracture fragment so from here the medio lateral view it appears that the proximal fracture fragment deviated cranially whereas the distal fracture fragment deviated caudally but by the cranio caudal view you could say the distal fracture fragment deviated laterally since this is the lateral so this is the deviated caudally and where this proximal fracture fragment it also deviated laterally so this fracture fragment deviated laterally and this fracture fragment also deviated laterally so if you see here the proximal fracture fragment so you will also appreciate there is a little i can say chips here so probably this fracture line one is seen in the medio lateral view like this so after a thorough examination of the pre operative radiograph then we decided that okay we go for the intramedullary pain so this is the immediately uh, after performing the intramedullary pinning of the fractured bone so this is the post operative radiograph this one is the medio lateral view of the left femur and whereas this is the cranio caudal view of the left femur so if you see the alignment of the this femur bone so by the anatomy we could say that okay the reduction was very good and the proximal and the distal fracture fragment now it is almost in the alignment here so but one question is why uh, we put the this one circlage wire in the proximal fracture fragment so what happened while inserting the this pin from the normo grade because i always prefer the normo grade pinning so when i try to insert the this threaded in pin from the trochanteric fossa so what happened because of the, the fissure in the proximal fracture fragment so that fissures got separate so this is the reason why we uh, put the circlage wire so after putting circlage wire then we pass the this pin and then 
uh, we reduce the this digital fracture fragment, fracture fragment and then pass the this pin so this is the threaded in pin so this since uh, the reduction is in, in the anatomical position so this is this is the way that the distal end of the this pin seated cranially or it touches the cranial border of the this femur bone so whenever after pinning if the distal this end if it is seated like this so you could say uh, the pin insertion was in basically the yeah the pin has been inserted in the anatomical reduction very clear that okay the apophysis is separated if somebody is not you can say aware of the normal radiographic anatomy of a young animal so he or she uh, he or she could easily confuse that uh, this might be a one fracture here so if you see that this is the craniocaudal view so from the craniocaudal view so it is very clear this one is the this greater trochanter this one is the neck and this is the head of the femur and this one is the short neck so since uh, uh, I, I have just discussed that uh, there was a uh, fracture line here which is not visible very clearly in the x-ray but when while doing so that fracture line weak point gets separated off so we united that fracture line with the one circlage wire and then passed the, this pin so by both view uh, we could say uh, overall a very good reduction and the alignment of the this femur bone about the uh, subtrochanteric or uh, proximal metaphyseal fracture or the proximal one third uh, femoral fracture of a young animal and its management by the one circlage wire and the end threaded intramolary pin by using the Steinman pin. So thank you very much for uh, watching the video and uh, if you like this video so kindly share with your friends uh, and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed the channel at Thank you very much.